what is up bros that is on duty and this is episode two of zombie talks and we will be talking about the olympia and uh what not so yep the olympia is a shotgun that has it's a uh two bullet shotgun so i i uh Yeah, it's it's bad. You take two shots, you gotta reload. Two shots, gotta reload. Two shot, and the ammo capacity is pretty low. So, yeah. So you have forty bullets. Forty bullets. Uh, you gotta make sure your shots count. Uh, good thing the uh, amount of money for the ammo is pretty small. Uh, two hundred and fifty. Uh. uh points to restock on ammo and uh you know shotguns are a preferred way to preferred weapon to uh use against zombies because of you know a bit a big chance of shooting them in the head because the bullets spread out uh you know you pay 500 points for this weapon Uh, but yeah, it's it's not that it's it's kind of bad. When you get stuck in a horde of zombies, this gun's not gonna help you out since it only has two bullets and you have to uh, reload and whatnot. It, it's kind of horrible in retrospect. So you just make sure you aim for the head, because once again, headshots are the best way to kill zombies the absolute best way if you're in the body sometimes it takes two shots to kill them in the body and uh... you know that's wasting ammo and this gun is not built for taking out large sums of enemies and it's definitely not uh... built to hold that much ammo so uh... Surviving with this gun on pack a punch is difficult. It's very difficult. And you see, it's round three, and I have uh, like 28 bullets. This gun can eat up your bullets like nothing. So, if you have this gun, aim for the heads, don't aim for bodies. Don't try to rack up points with this gun. Just aim for the head. And hopefully you will be able to pack a punch this gun. Or buy a much better gun. I always reload after one bullet because... You know, if I get stuck in a tight situation, I can always take use that second bullet to kill someone. You know, that, that's a good plan for the Olympia. Instead of... It, it takes... Believe it or not, it takes a short amount of time to reload one bullet than it does to take uh, reload two bullets. Ironic. <laughs> Wait, that's not ironic. But uh, it's interesting. So, my plan for this weapon take one shot, reload take another shot if you get stuck in a bad situation like I was just recently take two shots and try to get uh, your kills with two shots because you know that's I'd rather not reload two bullets every time because that'll take a while and that's not my plan and it uh, this gun has quite a bit of range so I can take a long distance shot, which is pretty good, but you know, try to get those heads and, uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend try to take long shots with uh, a shotgun, but you know, sometimes that happens and you get lucky and kill a zombie with a headshot at long distance. But yeah, I'm gonna jump skip to where I pack a punch the Olympia. So, uh, 
Uh, I'll see you guys then. Okay, bros. Now I'm gonna pack a punch. The Olympia. Which is okay. It does boost up the damage, and I think it does boost up the uh the ammo capacity slightly. But you still have only two bullets and then rechamber. At least the reload time is faster. And if you don't notice sometimes that you okay, this gun is called the Hades. What reminds you when you say Hades? When you think of Hades, uh, the Greek god, I think, of fire. I think I, I'm not really good at uh, Greek or anything like that, but. It's much powerful and it shoots a flame, uh, incinerate a uh, shell, and uh, it it's funny. I, I wouldn't recommend using the Olympia ever, only for kicks and giggles and whatnot, because well, it's kind of funny setting zombies on fire with a shotgun. You know, it's the closest thing we have to a flamethrower in this game. Uh, I wouldn't say this is the best shotgun. It does have. Uh, I looked at a chart and whatnot, and uh, the the like on Black Ops One, the chart showed uh, that the Olympia is just as strong as the unpack a punch ray gun. Is that true? I don't know. I'm not really sure, but, uh, I mean, not the Olympia, I mean, the Hades is as strong as the Unpack-A-Punch ray gun, I bet. Uh, I don't know if I could say I believe it, but, uh, it's strong. I, I wouldn't use it. Yeah, I kind of got a little interrupted right there. So, uh, yeah, this gets in part. This is gonna end uh, part two of Zombie Talks. Stay tuned for part three and my strategy for transit and die rise to survive in high rounds. Uh, I don't know what gun gun I'm gonna be talking about in uh, the next episode, uh, but I'll be thinking. I'll I'll be thinking about it. You know. I'm probably going to do the SUV sniper rifle, or I might use that submachine gun that's in the second story of the first, the spawn room, you know? You know, the below, you take the door, you go down the stairs with the, where the couch is. I don't remember what the name of that gun is, but I'll, I'll just think about it. Both of those guns are pretty darn good in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, like, favorite, subscribe, comment if you want.